Jesus Christ, we like to make things hard for ourselves, don't we? We won. Burnley 2, Pompey 1 with a massive, massive three points today yet again. And, I mean, performance-wise, I mean, we can't really get away from what was an incredibly frustrating afternoon for everyone involved. And in the end, our quality shows up. And that's the main key difference. You look at our bench and look at who we could bring on, and that is the main key factor that puts us ahead of most teams in this league. And unfortunately, i got some bad news for you. Most games this season at home will probably go in a similar way to that, that we're going to face a team at home that's going to plan to frustrate us, to sit back. And the thing is, I don't think it was a case of, especially in that first half, Pompey really needed to do all too much. They were really good in their midfield to control the game. And we were really poor in that first 30 minutes or so. It got a little bit better. Not by much, but a little bit better. But that first 30 minutes, I don't think we had a single shot. I think there was one chance that failed to lie a foster that led to a block. But other than that, I can't name you too much that happened, really. And Pompey was just more than happy to deal with what we could try to do. And wasn't much. And we just kept on passing the ball out from the back and not really finding that real killer through the lines ball to get up to the final third. But in the end, when we look back in this game, we won. And again, even in, in, in the last campaign with company, there was games that we didn't really play that well, but we still won. And at the start, it actually was a case that we played games similar to this and we didn't win. You know, Stockholm being one of them, Holohome being one of them, you know, Cardiff away... There was many games at the start of last season that we were just frustrated and couldn't really get the ball into back of the net. And we really had to find out new ways of scoring goals. Now, usually that involved just giving the ball to uh, Manuel Benson and just let him smash it from how far out. That kind of is how it went last year. So, well, sorry, last campaign. But we got there in the end. Sarmiento was a massive change to the game. Laurent, I thought, was fantastic when he came on as well. And all around, I don't think anyone had, like, a bad game. It just... I don't think it was... We were too slow in that first half to get to the ball at the pitch. That was a main key difference. We were way too slow. And then Pompey sat back and then allowed us the space to actually get a bit more higher up. But even at times, we were very cautious in that regard. And over time, with more cohesion, more ideas can start flowing... And maybe a bit more can happen later on down the line. But it's a big win. And of course, people may speak about the referee. I don't think he's a, he's a young ref, so I think that he's at times lost control of the game. I don't think our players particularly helped out the matters and keeping the, the back and forth, the squabbles keep on going. It's kind of frustrating to watch at this stage. But in the end, we won the game of football. Brownhill with the world's slowest goal I think I've ever seen. And that puts us third place in the table right now. Third place. So we've got win away at Luton, win away at Leeds. You know, two home wins against Cardiff and Pompey. You know, I, drew, I, I lost away at Sunderland, but given the circumstances, is isn't exactly that bad. And I drew a home to Blackburn, which Blackburn particularly was, from what I said before, a really just concerning performance at the time because we just didn't really create much at all. And hopefully over time, we'll start building the cohesion. And there were some good bits of play there. I don't really want to single players out. I, don't, I think everyone was pretty reasonable, just a bit slow. And I want to give some credit here to Scott Parker for the subs. However, I don't know what his plan is at home. It feels like we're way too cautious. You know, playing Brownhill and Cullen and even Hannibal dropped deep as well. It was almost like we played like three defensive players or like they were in those kind of positions. So we just didn't have too much up front and it felt unnecessary. So maybe that's something to adapt down the line that we don't really need Hannibal and Cullen and Brownhill at home against teams that you'd imagine will have a lot more of the ball. Maybe instead of Hannibal, go for Sarmiento. Or instead of Brownhill, go for Sarmiento. I don't know. But I think Brownhill will stay in up to what. And Laurent is a very good player to have as backup. But I think at home, I think we could be a bit more, you know, a bit more expansive trying to create opportunities. Maybe have Fleming up top instead of Hannibal, and maybe have two up top, for example. Because I felt Fleming, he tried his best. I don't think he got much of the ball. But there's still much more work to do. And with third place on the table, um, how many games we played so far? Six, seven, I forgot. It's a good start. 
So keep it up, boys. Next game is going to be a big one, but I think in a month's time, we're going to have a much clearer idea of how we want to take out the ball. Call your show. I think they, was just, they just could never pass the ball to him. It was so frustrating at times to watch that. But we won. And a 90th minute win is also cool to have as well. So tell me your thoughts down below and up the clouds.